Hello YouTube, um, thank you for watching Elotech Tutorials. In this video I'm going to show you how to fix the optical drive in the Mac Mini uh, 2009. You can see the model number uh, below. So I'm going to use a uh, Q-tip uh, to clean the optical laser. Uh, I think the Q-tip is too, too big. So I'm going to show you uh, the location of the optical drive. So about in this area so you have a, a long q-tip you can insert with um, or you can use a, a, a cleaning wipe uh, to remove the dust from the optical drive optical laser sorry so you just can move the the cleaning wipe like left to right so I see a lot of dust so hopefully this is this is a quick fix and um, if this uh, uh, technique works so we don't have to open the unit and remove the metal cover from the optical drive let's see if it works So well, it didn't work. It just keep rejecting the um, the DVD movie. So so we're gonna open it and and clean uh, internally the optical laser. So are you gonna use this sharp uh, metal spatula? So you're gonna need something like this or any sharp uh, metal object because you need to insert. Um, in the size of the device so and with the I have this metal uh, uh, silverware as well so Okay, now it's open. So I'm gonna show you all the dust then then the unit has during the years. You see, um, so it just keep accumulating a lot of dust. So now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna open the top cover, the metal top cover from the optical drive. So let me remove the Wi-Fi antennas, the Bluetooth antennas as well. That way I can have a free access to the screws. So you need to remove all the all the screws that are on top. So there are like four screws on top and two on the side. So by looking the video are gonna be on the left side. I recommend to use a magnet uh, screwdriver that way it's easy to uh, work with these uh, small screws so you need to peel off this uh, black tape and there is a, a clear tape as well so you need, to, you need to remove it as well so this clear tape plus the two screws so you can see there are two screws on the side so you need to remove them as well okay so now you can pull it out Okay, now since now it's feasible to see the um, uh, optical laser, 
So I'm gonna show you uh, what is it. So you can see the plastic, um, the shiny plastic. So that's the optical laser. So you're gonna use a um, a new Q-tip or a clean Q-tip. And this Q-tip, I already uh, dip it in alcohol. So very gentle. We need to clean the optical laser. So that's what I use alcohol. So and with the um, dry Q-tip, um, just keep um, cleaning. it. Don't put too much pressure on the optical laser because you can damage it. Okay. So let me put the metal back cover. So just back the screws. And what I'm gonna do next, I'm just gonna um, uh, turn on the computer. Just it's gonna be a quick test, just to see if uh, by cleaning the optical laser it will fix the problem. Okay, so it's on. So let me insert the movie again. So I'm gonna launch the VLC uh, software. Okay, as you can see, um, well, yeah, the, the movie is playing now. Let me fast forward. Or... So the movie is playing um, normal. So the next step, I'm gonna um, burn a, a video, uh, an audio, um, audio video movie. I don't know how you can call it, it's um, music videos and just download two just for this um, tutorial. So I'm using the uh, Roxio uh, Toast 11 Titanium software. So and I download two videos just to show you um, then the optical drive is working for re uh, rewrite um, CDs and DVDs. So you can see the uh, disc um, it's ready, so so let me mount it and just click on the mount it. So it's asking me for label the DVD, so I don't want to label it. So let me minimize this. Well, since I mount it, it's gonna launch the iDVD, I think, the DVD player. So as you can see, it's, it's, it's playing the DVD normally. So let me close this and launch the VLC because that's the software that I use to play movies and and CDs. How do you see this? So you can see it's playing the the DVD um, movie fine as well. So this is the DVD that I just burned. Okay, so it's, let me change to, to the next music video. So as you can see, um, it's working okay. So next thing, the next step is um, is to clean the unit to uh, try to clean it and remove uh, and suckle the dust with the vacuum. So we need to remove the four screws. Uh, there are four screws, one screw each corner. So you need to start with this one. Once you remove them, so you can uh, pull out the, the optical drive. So you need to disconnect the flex uh, flexible cable as well. You can see. So it's out. Now you have a uh, uh, free access to the main board, and the memory, and the uh, heat stick, the radio card the Wi-Fi radio card and all the components. So 
so then uh, you're gonna use this uh, brush so I bought it in the hardware store for a dollar so you're gonna start uh, cleaning the all the dust for my optical drive and fan So just make sure that you don't have any uh, loose component like cables and try to uh, hold the antenna cables uh, once you are uh, sucking the dust close to the antenna area. That way you don't um, get into trouble. Okay, so once it's finished, so you can put back on the optical drive. So just make sure to align the, the connector with the socket on the motherboard. And at the same time, try to move away the antenna cables. That way when you uh, push it in, uh, you don't smash the cables. Because otherwise you will have uh, Wi-Fi signal problems. So if one of the antennas is um, not working properly. Okay, let me plug in the flexible cable. I'm gonna put the sprints in their location. So you can see the bigger antenna, uh, trying to insert uh, an antenna from left to right. There are two holes in the um, uh, sheet metal um, uh, ground plane of the antenna. So just try to insert uh, the antenna first from left and then to right. But you need to bend a little bit uh, uh, the plastic part. So that's the second Wi-Fi antenna, or I believe it's the Bluetooth antenna. And there is a black tape as well, just to hold the cable in place. And that one is the second Wi-Fi antenna. So if for some reason you mix the cables, uh, just go to the... Um, uh, radio car and you will see the configuration What is the Wi-Fi antenna and the Bluetooth antenna? So just push this metal uh, clip just to align it And once you have um, the four corners aligned you can push it in So now it's fine Thank you for watching